Here's a quick question. If you were asked how many persons globally cannot read or write, what would you think is that number? Well, according to UNESCO, over 350 million people globally cannot read or write. These numbers are startling and it calls for us to make sustainable changes. Earlier this year, I'm sure you would have joined us as we launched the Ferreira Optical for Literacy Initiative. And so, to continue on this drive, we are joined by a great friend and partner, Mrs. Paula Lucy Smith, CEO and founder of ALTA, the Adult Literacy Tutors Association. Hi, Paula. Hi, Ian. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me here and partnering with us. Great pleasure. We appreciate it. But to put in perspective, in the Trinidad perspective, you know, mm -hmm. we did a, a literacy survey in the early 1990s, right. and there we found that one in four persons really were challenged to do everyday reading. So that's you can't do your grocery shopping, you can't read things on labels, street signs, mm -hmm. and one in two would struggle with a newspaper article. So that, that's putting it into the, the local context, perspective. You know, you know, yeah. Yeah. And as we look at it in terms of the local perspective, how yeah. would you say that's impacting on skills development? Because I would have seen UNESCO in yeah. celebration of yeah. World Literacy Day um, highlighted literacy and skills development. Mm -hmm. So bringing it back home, yeah. what is the effect yeah. not right well, now? You know, reading is the starting point, the foundation of really all learning. Mm -hmm. And you can do a certain amount by showing people and being in a physical environment, but it always comes back down to reading. Yeah. So, you know, whether you are in school or whether you're going to a skills training, you know, hairdressing. A lot of that is reading all these instructions on your chemicals. You, know, you think it's a hands-on profession, right? Yeah. But you have a lot of reading to do. So when you look at virtually any skill around, there is so much reading that is involved in it. Yeah. Um, something as basic as you do a, a plumbing job for somebody, you've got to now write your, your little invoice and yeah. make sure that you're getting, and getting your receipts. And, so all of that, the reading and writing, comes into everything that you do. And that is how it impacts so much on an individual's feeling about their own worth and their place in society. So you know, what our students say to us over and over again is that they don't feel as if they are part of their world. Mm -hmm. you know, they feel as if they are outside, yeah. looking in. And you wouldn't think that reading would have that impact. You say, well, it's just reading. Okay, it's a book, it's just but it has this huge impact on your life. And most of our students, when they come, they are great, they, they love it that they're starting to read. But most of all, the biggest change that you find is not that I can read now, but that I see myself differently now. Right. And I see the world around me differently. And strangely enough, others see them differently. I've had so many people say, that this person seems much happier now right, since they come. Right. You know, and you wouldn't think so, right? Yeah. You have all of these other impacts on your life that you just are a happier person, you enjoy life, you participate in life. Yeah. And all those things that you said to yourself, you know, I'll do that later on in life, and then the later comes and you don't do it yeah. because you're still not reading, you know. That's where so it comes I, I can see a direct link between non-readers yeah. and some fear in terms a silent fear yeah. and that goes on your on your yes. self-esteem. Yes. You know, so even in terms of positioning yourself, as you said so nicely, yeah. in terms of going after stuff that you yes. always wanted to yeah. do, you sort of push that backwards. Yeah, you you weak, you weak. Yeah. You you stand back, yeah. you know, and that, that's one of the things that as you get older you realize time is not really on your side then. True. Right? True. <laughs> so you can't really wait and you need to deal with that literacy issue today. And what do you say, Paula, you know, looking at it again locally, yeah. um, the stigma attached to, to literacy and non-readers, non-writers, yeah. are persons more forthcoming to seek help? 